Hello there and welcome back to my channel Juella. Or if you're new here then welcome to my channel. So as you might be able to see just in the corner of the camera here just over my shoulder I am joined by my lovely little princess Ella. She sat on the bed, she came upstairs, I would rather her be in with me than in with Scott in his office room because he often plays his guitar in between like doing things he should be doing and it's a bit noisy so yeah she wanted to be in here with mammy so if you hear any dog snores or any bargain obviously it's just Ella on the bed just putting it out there that I'm joined by my little fur baby anyway as you can tell by the title of this video this is basically the lemonade pick and mix box but also a little something that I trip myself to on the look fantastic site purely because I had credit there to spend and if you don't spend it you lose it so obviously I was going to spend it anyway so the lemonade pick and mix box as you know the lemonade box itself the self-care box the monthly box bit different from this but everything in the pick and mix box has been in previous lemonade boxes or at least that's what I think um, it has been I've noticed when I've you know had a look in the past anyway I had an email from lemonade about a week or two ago alerting me to a fabulous deal 50% off the pick and mix items there was a selection of items on a drop down list to choose whatever ones you wanted at 50% off their price now that's not the RRP, that's their price of what they go for within the pick and mix selection. So some things go for £6.50 and they were basically dropped down at £3.25. Some things £4.50, £2.25. You get the picture of how it kind of worked. So yeah, 50% off. I said to myself, do you know what? I'm going to have a little gander. If there's anything I know I super duper love, then I might treat myself. Um, and yeah, that I did. All you had to pay was obviously the prices for the items you chose. You could have only got two or three items if you'd wanted or seven or eight items. I don't think there was a particular limit with it to be honest. And you can get more than one of the same item which I found out with this which I'm going to show you. And then you pay the postage on top which is £2.90 which really wasn't that bad. So this is the box. It just comes in a turquoise box just like the lemonade box. And it says pick and mix on there as well so you know what it is. And it also came in like a pink jiffy bag so inside it's packed lovely it's got like this kind of hay style wormy shredded paper in which is really nice i reuse all these things when i send gifts to people anyway first item i'm going to show you is my absolute favorite shower gel at the moment and has been for the last year this stuff it is beautiful never seen it in the shops but then again i don't go shopping but it's actually quite hard to find i believe so as I got this in a rocker box about a year ago and I said to myself if I ever see this advertised in a beauty box I'm getting that beauty box end of. So anyway it's on the pick and mix list on lemonade so of course I had to get not one but two because I absolutely love it. This apparently retails at £25 a bottle. 300ml of shower gel £25 eek definitely not it's not like it's got a really decent name on like molten brown or something even then there's a 22 pound so it's still a bit cheaper but it's beautiful it's absolutely gorgeous so this should have been six pound fifty i believe i got them for three pound twenty five each i was happy to pay three pound twenty five the company the brand i've never heard of a beauty PPA, and it's the golden superfood antioxidant shower gel with pumpkin, argan, apricot, orange and aloe vera. It is gorgeous. It smells so, so nice. It's like kind of sweet. Oh, I can't even describe the smell. It's just bloody lovely though. So like I say, you obviously can tell that I like it because I tried myself to two of them. Had I have really thought about it, I probably should have got four of them because I know that I'll never stop liking this scent. It's beautiful, a little bit goes a long way and it lathers up really, really well. So I absolutely love it. If you've got the lemonade pick and mix, let us know if you've got this. Or in general, if you've tried it, let us know what you think of it. But it's one of my favourite shower gels up there with me molten brown ones. Absolutely love it. So something else I chose by Comfort Zone, which is a facial skincare brand which I really, really like. This is a product that I've not tried, but I love the brand. So it's Comfort Zone Remedy Serum for Sensitive Skin, and it's eight mils. Now, I didn't read this properly, probably kind of late at night purchase, I think it was when I did it, when I did my picks. I believe it was pretty much bedtime. 
and I thought for some reason this was 20 mils but it's 8 mils so it is a little bit teeny tiny and I think I paid about £2 something for it maybe £2.25 um, however with the serum a little bit goes a long way so 8 mils for all it seems like a teeny tiny tube which it is a teeny tiny tube it's good stuff it's a good brand I like the productivity of this this brand so far that I've used um, yeah it might last you a couple of weeks if you go quite sparingly on it but if you use quite a lot it'll probably only last you a week or two but yeah I just had to try it I think it's got a seal on I'm just gonna have a little check yes it has I'm not gonna open it though guys because I have got a couple of serums on the go so I don't want to spoil it just yet because there's usually a little kind of little date like there an open lid thing 12 months and then you've got to get it used just so that it's kind of at its best productivity wise so yeah if you've tried this serum by comfort zone which is the remedy serum for sensitive skin please let us know what you think i have got a couple of things by comfort zone like i say and i absolutely love i'm currently actually and it's staring us in the face so i might as well show you it but i didn't get it in this box i'm currently using the comfort zone re-night cream the nourishing night cream for the face it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful I'm so pleased I've got another one of these and I was nearly going to give it away actually but I'm so pleased I've hung on to it because I tried this cream out and it was lovely so I'm currently using that at night when I remember to do my nighttime skincare anyway because I'm like a zombie when I climb up the wooden hill to go to bed I just forget to do my skincare I tend to do it if I've had a bath like you know before I settle down to watch telly I'll quickly do a nighttime skincare regime anyway let's get back to the box here julie you're waffling away as usual anyway so yeah the comfort zone remedy serum really looking forward to trying it if you've tried it then let me know what you think this item i've deliberately and purposely got for not myself i'm not quite sure what for yet i think i had an idea for this i think it was for i'm not going to say but it's for somebody else just in case that somebody else is watching <laughs> so obviously I don't want to say it is a Danielle Creations Jade Facial Roller and it's one of the double-ended ones so you've got the small end there just for around the eye area and around the nose and the larger roller for anywhere else on your face but I love these things I'm just kind of looking up to the right of us just to show you mine actually I'm trying to get it out of my little my little box this is mine it's pretty much exactly the same as mine to be honest but mine's a different brand. I think mine's Brushworks. But it's lovely. It's really, really nice. Really cooling on the skin. Nice to use with a serum or just after you've put your moisturiser on or whatever. But yeah, I've got that. But it's not for me. But I just couldn't resist it. I thought this will come in handy for a certain something that I was thinking of. So yeah, again, this is not for me. But the other things are. The final item that I chose this is something which i don't know if it's gone a little bit off i don't know if it's congealed slightly so please let me know if you've had this and if it did the same thing but i was so intrigued to try it because i thought this would be nice for me little five pound foot spa in other words my little wash basin that i steep my feet in so this is by mallow's beauty and it's the marshmallow bath dust now as you can see i don't know if you can tell with the ring light i don't know if it's too bright but it's like kind of congealed into big lumps it's like a bath bomb that's like broken down into big lumps. I don't know if it's supposed to be all like a fine dust or like a powder, but mine's congealed. And when you try to break it up, it's literally rock hard. You'd need a hammer to try and break it up. So yeah, I was just planning on using that on my feet though, just for a nice little bit of relaxing R&R &R time. So yeah, if you've tried this, let me know what you thought of it. But also if yours came in like clumpy lumpies, or if it was like a fine powdery fairy dust type stuff so yeah it does state that it's kind of bath dust so maybe that's congealed with heat and cold i don't really know but yeah i'm sure productivity will still be absolutely fine but i'll use it sooner rather than later so i think i got this for about two or three pounds instead of five or six pounds i wouldn't pay five or six pound definitely not but i don't mind paying two pound for a bath dust but i don't think i would pay much more so that's everything I got in the pick and mix I'll quickly blast through the items again and then I'm going to show you something else that I got on the look fantastic site which literally just arrived this morning and today is Monday by the way the 21st of February I think it's the 21st probably getting confused with my dates but I think it's the 21st anyway so we've got the marshmallow bath dust which please let us know what yours looks like because yeah mine's a little bit kind of clumped and congealed together 
we've got the Danielle Creations Jade Facial Roller. Like I say, I love using these type of things, just promotes a bit of R&R &R and a bit of self-care. So this is purposely for somebody else. I've got the Comfort Zone Remedy Serum. A little bit gutted that it's only 8 mils. I kind of wish it was 20 mils like I thought it was, but that's my own fault for not reading it right. However, it's a good size just to try before you buy. Then obviously my favourite guys, my favourite shower gel, or at least it's up there on my top three favourites. Beauty Papier Golden Superfood Antioxidant Shower Gel. It is stunning. And obviously you can tell I like it because I've got two bottles of the stuff here. So yeah, let me know if you've got the lemonade pick and mix. Let us know what your choices were. There was quite a few other bits and bobs on there, but I didn't need anything. To be honest, did I need shower gel? No, but I did promise myself if I ever saw it anywhere where it was up for grabs at a reasonable price, that I would get some more in and treat myself. And the other things, like I say, were just a few little extras and a little gift for somebody else. So I'm just gonna pop this box down by the side of us so that I can show you what I got on the Look Fantastic site delivered today. So earlier on, I think it was last month, I had some credit to spend in the Look Fantastic on my account. So I had 10 pounds there and I thought if I don't get this spent, I'm probably going to forget about it. Now there was one item I really wanted, which keeps going in and out of stock. It's the A Cook and Foot Cream. It's marvellous stuff, but it's really expensive. It's £29.50. I could not justify spending nearly £30 on some foot cream. Having said that, it's really good stuff. But I think I'm going to leave that until Christmas time. Pop it on my Christmas list and let my husband get us it for Christmas or my birthday. Just as a little treat. So yeah, I didn't get that because I didn't have £29 credit to spend. I had £10 credit to spend. <clears throat> so... On the Look Fantastic site, as you know, it's a beauty site. And what you do is you just, you know, order whatever you want. And there's postage to pay if it's under 20 or 25 pounds, I think it is. Now, I didn't want to get roped into paying postage because it's like three or four pound postage. And that's just like, it's a bit of a downer, isn't it? So I was looking to see if, like what I could get for like around the 25 pound mark, knowing that I would only end up paying 15 because obviously I had a 10 pound voucher. So let's stop waffling and show you what I got. Just had to try this stuff, guys. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This is the Bum Bum Summer Jet Set little kind of travel pack. Really, really super cute little travel kind of case. It's so, so super cute. Kind of wish I was going on holiday somewhere, but fat chance I can barely get out the front door. But anyway, yeah, everybody raves about this Bum Bum Cream. I had to try it. Now, in the past, I've smelt a few of their different things. I've smelt the perfume. Sorry, this might be quite noisy opening this zip. I've smelt the perfume and I've got the body spray. I've got the lip butter. I've got the Anita Range body spray, which I absolutely love. It's one of my favourites. Anyway, first thing in the little packet here. This is a 30ml body spray of the Chirosa 62, which is the one that goes with the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. So yeah, a little one of those. I've got a big one of these somewhere, probably amongst my body spray collection under this table, but I won't show you because I'll have to dive under and it's probably a bit dusty under there. So anyway, yeah, I've got a little one of these body sprays. Haven't decided whether I'm going to be naughty and keep this, even though I've got far too many body sprays, or I might pass this on. I might gift this on to a friend of mine for a birthday. Haven't decided yet. But anyway, I got it for one main reason, which I'll show you in a second. The next item is a small little shower cream, which this just looks so super cute. I wish it was bigger because the price of this is really quite expensive. Anyway, this is the Brazilian Full Play Moisturising Shower Cream. So this is 90 mils and I think there's a seal on. Yeah, there's a seal on. I'm not going to take it off, guys, because I've got loads of shower gels on the go. But I can smell it through there and it smells lovely. It smells like sun cream. It smells nice and sweet vanilla -y sun cream. So anyway, yeah, I got the shower cream. The final item in the little packet is obviously the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Now, a few of my friends out there have been saying, Julie, you've got to try this stuff. It's bloody amazing. So I eventually have got it, guys. To my lovely friend Kylie and Joe Smith, my two friends who said this stuff is like bloody gorgeous. Please, please try it. I've got it guys, I've got it. So this is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, the original one. It's a little 50ml tub, 
which may or may not last very long. It's a quick absorbent cream. Oh my God, it smells gorgeous. I don't know why I'm showing you because you probably cannot say much, but oh, it smells gorgeous. I'm just gonna take a teeny bit off the lid, put a tiny bit on the back of my hand. I tried it out on my arms this morning and I was like, oh, it is stunning. It's so nice. It does remind you you've got like that kind of holiday type smell, but it's really moisturizing and quick, absor quick absorbing. It's not greasy at all. It's like, oh, it's stunning. It's gorgeous. It's creamy, it's caramel, it's coconut, it's nutty. It's just really, really nice. But not in a sickly, overpowering way. Or at least I don't think it is. I think it's really, really lovely. Um, so yeah, I'm so thrilled that I've got it now to try. Honestly, Kylie, I'm going to be messaging you saying, watch my video, guess what I've got, bum bum cream. But yeah, really, really thrilled to get that and try it just to kind of see what I think of it. To go with my vast collection of body lotions and creams. But I'm probably going to use this super quick because... Oh, it's just gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. Anyway, so yeah, they're the three items I got in the Bum Bum set. Now, I think this should have been about £18, I think. I'm not too sure. It's either 16 or 18 but I think I got it with 20% off. So I think I got this for £14.80. I think that's what I paid. Middle of the night purchase, guys. I can't really remember. But that's still quite expensive, really. But in the same breath, it's kind of not. <laughs> because it's a perfect size for going on holiday for a week or two so yeah it's not too much to pay really I wouldn't like to pay much more than that but it smells gorgeous it's absolutely beautiful oh it's so so nice it's lush anyway to make it up to £25 which I did and I got it just over £25 I think it was £25 and 10 pence or something I also got the Neil's Yard Lavender and Aloe Vera Deodorant. Now, this is one that I'm currently using. This isn't the one that came with it because I'm still waiting on it. They've shipped it in two separate packages, so I'm still waiting on this coming. But yeah, I'm busy using this one and it's lovely. It's a nice alternative to like a, a spray deodorant. It's just like a water misty spray. I'm just going to spray it in front of us so you can see what I mean. As you can see, it's just like a water mist. And it's just a really fresh, light herbal smell. Like I say, it's the lavender and aloe vera one. And it's just different. It's just a bit different. The packaging is stunning as well. I do like the Neil's Yard products. So I'm currently waiting on that one coming. But I just wanted to show you that's what else I'd ordered. And also one last boring thing. Just some nail polish remover. I get through this in abundance because I'm forever painting my nails. So yeah, this is the Cute XK Nourishing Nail Polish Remover. And the size is 200 mils and it's like a greeny colored one um but yeah it's just nail polish remover i normally just get it on me my supermarket shop and like sainsbury's own but seeing as i needed to make another couple of quid up just to get the free delivery i thought you know what this stuff i use in abundance so obviously it made sense to get it on the look fantastic site and that's what i did so they're the three items that i got from look fantastic Obviously the main one, the, the star of the show here, is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum set. Absolutely loving it. Honestly, I put it on my arms this morning and I couldn't stop sitting sniffing my arms. Like in between doing the dishes and stuff, like how glamorous. I couldn't stop going and sniffing my arms. They smelled so, so nice. They smelled good enough to eat like a nice pudding. Anyway, so yeah, that's it guys. This is vid a longer video than I'd hoped for. Because you know what I'm like? I'm a chatterbox. And I yab, yab, yab away. Waffle, waffle, waffle. And before I know it, I'm 20 minutes in. So I'm going to try and keep this under 20 minutes if I can. Um, so yeah, you have seen what I got in the lemonade pick and mix. Really happy with my selections. Hindsight's a great thing. I think that, did I really need the serum? Probably not. I probably should have not got myself the serum. And the bath dust for my feet. Probably didn't need that. The Jade Facial Roller, like I say, that's for somebody else, so I'm pleased I've got that. And obviously I love me shower gel. And obviously I love me, me little Brazilian bum bum set. Honestly, I'm so thrilled I've got it. I know what Kylie, my lovely subscriber friend, if you're watching this, which I'm sure you will be, I know what you're bragging about now. I know what you've been banging on about. It smells gorgeous. It smells so lovely. It's lush. And to be honest, it's not super feminine. I think that's got a slight masculine kind of hint to it. Just an ever so slight masculine twist. But ultimately it smells lush. It smells like holidays. It smells like sun cream with a little bit of a twist. 
anyway right i'm gonna go i said i was gonna keep it under 20 minutes oh my goodness can i do it take care and i'll be back soon with a mask monday probably next week oh my goodness i'm gonna go over 20 minutes i can't believe it i'm so sorry <laughs> anyway right i'll be back again soon guys i can't think of what what videos i was gonna do next but i do have a couple in the pipeline i should probably be doing them today seeing as i've actually got some makeup on but um yeah that's it for today guys because i've got a sore throat i've got a banging headache and i've got earache and now I've got to go and cook the dinner. How exciting. Anyway, I hope everyone's well. Hope you had a great weekend. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. And I'm so sorry for making this over 20 minutes. I promised myself it was going to be under 20 minutes. I should really use some clever editing skills and try and get it under that. But you know what? I bet I don't. Anyway, right. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>